Hey guys, how's it going? So I thought today I'd do something a little different. I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I've been working on and just show you my workspace. And I do have a project suggestion for you today, but I thought maybe this would be kind of interesting too. So I'll try to do this without making anybody car sick. This is my workbench. Lights are on. Over there I've got a bunch of reference material and pictures. Excuse me, Spence. So this is my work area when I'm at home. And one of the things I've really been into lately is I've been building miniature buildings. This is something I was hoping to do with you guys at school, and when we get back, if we get back this year, I'd still like to do it. This is the first one I ever made. It's just kind of this little weird stone cottage house kind of thing. It's made of foam. Yep, it's made of styrofoam. It's a little rough. It's not bad. Um, my second one came out a lot better. This is like a little castle tower. Can I show the painting? No, I'd like to do this one. Um, I make this stuff out of cardboard, poster board, and this is XPS extruded polystyrene insulation foam. So that's, and here's one, here's one I'm actually in the process of making right now. It's another tower, but it's supposed to be like an old ruined one sitting on like a lonely piece of land. There's going to be a lot of rubble down there. It's like a room. It's like rooms. Yeah. yeah. So, and you don't have to just make buildings. I also made this rock monster. Um, you could do these for board games. You could do these for dioramas and displays. I do it just because it's fun to do. Um, one of the things, let's see, you'll notice a lot of it's made out of bricks. I cut the foam up into these little sections. Can I feel? Yep. Weird. So that's that's something that I'm doing to try to help the time pass. It's always good to have a hobby. Um, another thing I've been working on is going through my portfolio and finding some old drawings that I've been meaning to work on for a long time. This one I started over oof, two years ago and I abandoned and now I'm actually finally getting motivated to go back in and finish it. It's a big colored pencil drawing of a warrior guy on a horse. Um, this is a character from the Chronicles of Prydain. This is a series of books that my 7th grade teacher, Mrs. Thorpe, got me hooked on years ago. And I'm still reading them over and over again. I love them. So the character I'm drawing is this guy here, this Horned King. He's kind of like um, an evil knight, really powerful, scary, wears a mask that looks like a skull. Um, the main characters are Taran and Alanwi, and there's a oracular pig named Henwin. Is that the first one? Yep. Can I see the pig? Second one is Black Cauldron. There's the pig. Nice. The Castle of Lear. Terran Wanderer. And then the High King. These are really cool books, um, kind of a medieval fantasy kind of Lord of the Rings-ish, um, but definitely not as in-depth. Anybody who's tried to read Lord of the Rings knows that it's it's quite, a, it's quite an undertaking. These books are a little lighter, a lot of fun, good sense of humor, great characters for boys and girls to look up to. Um, really cool. Can you show that one? That's my favorite. Which one? Oh, yes. Yeah. This is one I meant to show, too. This the is... This is cool. This one took a long time. Uh, this one I was at for a very long time. Um, I'm very proud of this one. You can see the windows even got some stuff in it and the door. And he made my um, my grandma and his mom one, and um, I forgot what it's called. It's called the Swiss Chalet. Yeah, it's, like a... it's really cool. Thanks, bud. So this is, this is something that I was working on, too. Again, a lot of the stuff I do is kind of medieval-themed because that's what I like. I like medieval, medieval stuff, kind of fantasy-type stuff. Uh, but I also like funny stuff in science fiction. This was a warm-up drawing I did yesterday. This goofy little alien, his ship crashed in the desert, and he's trying to hitchhike to Area 51. This is what I call like a warm-up drawing. Something I'll spend... Crash! Something I'll spend a few minutes on just getting my hands warmed up, getting my imagination going. And then I'll pick up something much bigger that I've been working on, like the, the Horned King on the horse there. So, here's my suggestion for you guys today. Go find yourself your favorite book. 
or your favorite video game or your favorite comic book or whatever it, and picture your favorite character and I want you to draw them in it's your style it could be Harry Potter Hermione it could be a dragon you know yeah, yeah. It could be you know beast, who I'm talking about it could be Beast Boy it could be Beast Boy who are you Batman talking, who are you talking about? there's a couple of students I have that really really like dragons you might have seen some of their work in my room oh yeah it could be a you know, like a, a creepy creature. It could be a funny creature. It could be a sports hero. It could be anything. It but could be Babe Ruth. There you go. A character that you like from a story of some kind. It could be Link or Mario. <laughs> whatever. But draw them in your style. All right. It's a, it's a great way to kind of adapt to, to you know a character to your style. And another thing you can do, and this is one of the things that I learned, this is how I learned how to draw. Look at a picture of that character and draw what you see in the picture. Yes, it's another artist's style, but that's not a bad thing. Learning to draw based on someone else's style is one of the things that I did. It's important. You learn line quality. You learn technique. You learn how that artist might have put stuff together. You fit, you know, it helps you with the shape of the person and posture, all kinds of stuff. There's no shame in learning by drawing from somebody else's drawing. You just never claim that it's yours. So go through some of your magazines, your comic books, if you have any, your graphic novels, your illustrated books. Find a picture that you really like if you can't find a character that you want to work on and draw that. You know, it's great practice and it's really, really important if you want to get those techniques right because you know, hey, that's how you improve, right? Keep trying. Cool. And remember how you said that you could draw Batman? Yeah. The poster's right behind you. I've drawn that poster before. I've drawn that same pose as a warm-up drawing before. So, it's just what it is. Cool. All right. So, get out there. Find a hobby. Find something fun to do. Keep at it. Stay positive, And I'll see you guys real soon. See ya.